I first want to start with, um, is there a feeling among the players that you feel a different type of excitement by they're getting a chance to have a rematch of MLS Cup? I know you don't look at it that way, but just do you feel among the players? What do you mean by that? Just like, do you feel a different type of excitement among the players for this Cup coming matchup? Um, no, no. The, we live well together, so this is the most important, but uh, the, I have a good group in terms of excitement, you know, when they come to the, to the practice, they are excited to, uh, to practice, excited to, uh, to be challenged, so uh, good spirit, so I think this is uh, all together, but there is no, yeah, they like to play games, they like uh, all this kind of thing, but uh, it's a package, and for the moment everything is, uh, is quite good. You talk about the difficulties of going. You played at home Saturday. You go play on the West Coast yeah. on the Saturdays, and you're coming back to play on Wednesday. Can you talk about that difficulties and what do you think that's just going to present? Mm. It's the most difficult uh, stretch that we have because uh, uh, I've done it before, and um, to play a midweek game after our travel in the in Los Angeles, this is this is this is difficult. So because of the jet lag, yes, but because of the travel and everything. So um, that's why it's a good uh, challenge in front of us. Um, so we'll see what we're going to do in terms of the team. But uh, again, this is all this kind of diversity for us. This is good to get better and uh, we're going to try to do something good also over there. And obviously, Patrick made the Olympic team it could have gone earlier to camp, but he's coming to LA. Can you talk about, did you have a conversation with him about him making a trip to LA playing in that match? And just, did he say anything about why it was important for him to make that trip? Yeah, he's, uh, again, this is an important player for us, and this is an important player also for the national team. But we had a really good discussion with uh, the, the coach of uh, the, the Trinity team, and uh, obviously he wanted a uh, 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 year, but um, we have an issue with the goalkeeper. Because as you know, uh, for me, this is really important for each player. I like when my player go, uh, go to the national team. This is really important, and I like that. But the issue that we have the, with Bushi, uh, we have an issue. Uh, so that's why they understood that, and uh, Pat's going to uh, play the game, and after that, it's going to go. And after that, we're going to have uh, Nico um, in the net. No problem with that. The, the issue is not Nico. The issue is uh, <laughs> the fact that uh, there is a rule, you know, that um, you can call up a maximum of four times players for the reserve team. And um, I understand the rules, this one, but it's a little bit tough because um, uh, we still have, we only have, sorry, uh, two moments. So, and Pat's going to go awfully away for a long time. So again, we're going to have to figure it out. This is not an issue, but again, we put limitation on this one. Uh, I know that MLS uh, did a really good job to, uh, to promote young players, you know, from the academy. I think that this is something that he could change for the future. I'm not asking that we can do like uh, in Europe. You know, in Europe, you don't have to sign a player to put him on the bench. And me, I started my career like this. Inside the contract, but they needed a player uh, to play. I was on the bench, and uh, I'm 47 years old. I started at uh, <laughs> 17 years old, but uh, at this time, uh, we had a maximum of 15 games to play without a contract, a professional contract. I mean. I'm not saying that we have to go this way, I'm saying that for call ups. If we want, if we have a vision in the club, the vision that we have in our club is to promote our own player, this is not enough. So I think that in the future, they're gonna be able to think about it and to change it because uh, we're gonna have to, uh, to, to adjust a bit. And, and the idea is not to sign a contract because I know why they do that, is to uh, guide us towards signing a player, a young player as soon as possible. But the idea is not to sign him as soon as possible. The, the idea is to develop him. So sometimes development is good for, the, for our player to stay with, our, with the first team. 
sometimes this is good for them also to go on loan with the USL team example, or sometimes it's good also for them to stay with the Red Hat team. So again, there is a different pathway, really important. So again, that's why long answer. That's why we are, it was important for us to keep Pat, and, uh, and after that we'll see uh, what we're going to do with uh, a third goalkeeper. How did those 15 games work out for you as a 17-year-old? Uh, it was okay, but I remember that uh, a friend of mine uh, stopped at 14 games. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't have the money to sign a contract, so, so he has to wait uh, the, the, the year after. Wow. Yeah, this is the, this is the way it is. So, so again, uh, I like, I understand the rules, the rules here uh, yeah. in terms of four colors, but I think that uh, it could be good uh, to develop. Mm -hmm. It could be good. So. I know you're a really big fan of the expected goals stats, so I thought <laughs> I'd bring that up. Um, your expected goals versus Toronto were 1.8 as a team. You scored four. Over the last four games, you've scored 15 goals, but your expected goals average was 2.1. The stat aside, <laughs> are your guys just pulling goals out of impossible situations? This is the beauty of our sport, you know, so... Uh... So you, you tease me with the uh, with expected goal. Yes, I have a look with the expected goal, but you know, uh, as you know, our game is not about data. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's an addition of what we see on the pitch, and sometimes you cannot explain certain things. We 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 showed a presentation last year to our players in terms of uh, to maximize our chance to score, and we show them the expected goal that if they take. Uh, a shot from 25 meters, it's going to be difficult for them to score. But could show you one of the best to start to, to, to shoot. And Lucas was there at this moment. Lucas was so good to shoot from distance. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to say, we're going to say, no, don't shoot because uh, the expected goal said that. No, we, again, it's a common sense. And you know, there is also weakness in the expected goal because you know the kind of balls uh, across the box. And if nobody touch, you know, the ball, it doesn't count for an expected goal. Mm. So again, it's the beauty of the, our, our, our job, our, our, what we do on the pitch is uh, sometimes we can provoke luck to score and sometimes we do, we are clinical. Uh, and I think that I like when we have a good expected goal, but to be honest with you, I like also when we have also bad expected goal because it means that we were clinical. And I like it also. So. And then how does the disparity between the data and the performance speak to the quality of player that mm -hmm. you're putting on the field? Le, again, it's an addition of uh, everything. Don't get me wrong. This is important, but this is not the priority uh, for me. Mm -hmm. We, uh, I like to feel the player, I like to see the player, and after that I'm going to use the data to help me to finalize a decision. And uh, we, we use it for to get players, we use it also to uh, uh, help our players to get better in terms of performance, uh, in terms of fact, you know, because this is factual. And, and but again, you know, the, the goal that we scored against LAFC last year, mm -hmm. uh, the goal of Yao. Yes. Yao scored a really good goal. Yes. Don't get me wrong. The pass of Matan was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. But the key player for me was Matan. And he didn't touch the ball. Because oh. <laughs> yeah. he let it go. Because he moved in a certain position that we've been worked that we've worked on to put doubt on the opposition to allow Mat uh, to allow uh, Yao to make the run mm -hmm. and to allow uh, Malte to pass the ball. Yeah. So it doesn't count for data. Right. So that's why it's going beyond that. And if Mati doesn't do this move, impossible to score this goal. So that's why the player of the ball who don't touch the ball, they are so important to put doubt on the opposition. So that's why, again, this is so complex. This is not only I have the paper over there and I see that. No, this is, this is not the case. This is yeah. not the case. 
you know, also an, ex an example of uh, Darlington. Darlington, this is not the, the player that is going to play the long pass in behind. Mm -hmm. So if we are looking for a player with this profile, Darlington won't play for me. And I like player who is able, you know, to 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 play this kind of ball. But Darlington is going to bring something different. Darlington is going to attract more players to free up players uh, uh, next to him. Mm -hmm. So again, if you see uh, the long pass of, of Darlington, no, it doesn't exist. This is more about, that's why, yes, data, but again, common sense mm -hmm. regarding the way we play and so on. Um, data aside, Max Arston seemed to play a game on Saturday night that just moment to moment breeded his confidence. It's just the eye test. What was your take on his performance Saturday night? Oh, he's, he has grown a lot, uh, you know, during the game, and that's why uh, uh, I wanted to sub him. But uh, I say, I say, no, he's going to stay. Mo is going to be out, and uh, he's going to play against Bernardeschi because the idea was offensively, I know that he can, he's good. Defensively, he's getting better. Mm -hmm. But I want him to have a good players in front of him who likes to dribble and so on, and he did a good job with that. So. Uh, again, he's so clever. He's so clever, and obviously he's coachable. But uh, he's so clever because he's able to catch up quick the, the the little details that we like to give him with my staff. And after that, like I told you, technically he has really good quality, and 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 I've learned a lot because of um, Max. I've learned to be patient. I've learned to to stay focused on the process. Because yes, sometimes I was like, hey, Max, you have to, you can show more. I know that you can show more. But again, it's like in life, you know, sometimes, I don't know, my parents told me something at uh, seven years old or at uh, 17 years old, at 23 years old, I understood, I clicked. So again, this is our job to give them tools. And after that, hopefully they can be able to take it and as soon as possible. But it's not the way it works, but with Max, he, he's been he's been good for a moment, and uh, and this is good for him and for the team. But um, good uh, good guy, good guy, and good uh, good player. Yeah, thank you, Coach. You've worked with Kai Kamara. Yeah. What does he bring <laughs> to not only your team when you guys were in Montreal, but to the league? I've learned a lot also with Kai because it's unbelievable. I remember when the, when I was in Montreal and uh, his name popped up, I was not so uh, keen to take him because I wanted him before, <laughs> because he was younger. Mm -hmm. Because at the time when we were playing against Montreal, it's been a long story, but short story, when we were playing against Montreal, we wanted him, but it was not possible. So every time that we were playing against him, he was scoring minimum two goals, just to send a message that you don't want to take me, okay, I'm going to score goals. <laughs> but when he, when he come with us, when he came with us, uh, is an example of, uh, team spirit. Uh, I saw his goal again, 41 years old, uh, with the header. He's so good with his head. And um, and we everybody knows that. But me, what I like is uh, when I, I watch a few games of LAFC, he runs. Simple as that. I know that he likes to run in his life. This is the way it is. But he's able to defend on three players, not two, on three players. So for me, this is a this is a really good example for the for the players around him to to show the, the other player that this is not about the age. This is about your mental spirit. This is about your competitive spirit. And and Kai is a is a is a really really great example for that. And the consistency that he had since he started, I'm not surprised that now he's still playing. And good for him. So I hope that he's going to stay quiet against us. But I know <laughs> that he's going to try to do everything to score a goal. I don't know how, but uh, to be uh, to be good. But uh, no, massive respect for him because uh, he's a he's a really good example for the, the, the consistency. 
how important will defensive set pieces be for you guys, not only with Kai, but Bogu, Shbuanga, Ilie, and all those guys who can also be a threat to, to the back line? Yeah, for sure. The, 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 uh good players you know to on, on set pieces so we've been good we've been good we we've been able to adjust on certain things depending the opposition um, so the idea is going to be uh, the same to be uh, try to be solid try to be really good on that but again um, I know that my players want to do well all the time uh, and uh, we have grown a lot in set pieces, so hopefully it's going to be good against uh, LAFC. Thanks, Coach. Last thing, um, obviously Aiden didn't make, I know, obviously Aiden Morris is in here, but uh, Aiden didn't make the Olympic team, team with obviously great achievement going to England, but cost of that not playing for the Olympics. Just what are your thoughts on that? No, listen, I'm not surprised because, um, like I told you, when the um, Olympic team, the Olympic Games, this is amazing. To do it, but at the same time, also there is a this is not a good uh, moment, you know, for the clubs. So, so that's why uh, many players uh, will not make it uh, because their club don't want to to leave them, to let them to go over there. So this is um, normal, <laughs> simple as that. This is normal. This is no normal reaction, and uh, for the for the club. That's why us, this is a bit different, but uh, but I can tell you that in Europe, I have many friends who's gonna coach national team for the for the Olympic games, and it was a nightmare for them because they were supposed to get uh, all the good players, but they had uh, only 15, 50% or 40 or 30 percent of the player that they wanted because they are young, they are good, and they have also, uh, important game with their clubs, so this is the same for him. Thank you. All right, thanks, everybody. Thanks, coach.